Okay, so how y'all doing, YouTube? Um, this is Raphael Harwick, and I'm back at y'all with a new video with the hair put it back. Look, don't judge this part, okay? Y'all know I need to get it done, but um, look, I'm I don't I'm not caring. I'm not giving a fuck. But here's what I want to talk about. Y'all know that I'm disabled. Y'all know that I'm in a wheelchair. Y'all know um, that I can't do certain things. And I'm not going to say what those certain things are. Because if y'all don't know or if is anybody new, just go back to my channel. And you can watch the previous videos that I have. Um, so, I had to get a new staff. I interviewed the new staff yesterday. Excellent, perfect, fine, then. Here's where I have the problem. Excuse me, y'all. I'm eating my rolled up taco. Cause I'm hungry. So. But here is where I have the biggest problem. And this is what I'm going to talk to Robert about. Um, Number one, I don't, it's not that I don't like women working for me as far as, you know, Doing different things like put me in the bed, put me in the shower. I have no problem with that. Nothing whatsoever. Where it becomes a problem is women thinking that, oh, you can, oh, they can just talk to me any old type of way. They can say anything. They can just leave because if you know, if you don't know, with with a disabled person and you're taking care of a disabled person, you're not supposed to leave. Well, in Michigan, they have the rule that if you're working for a client, that you're not supposed to leave unless it's in a group home. But in this type of setting where I live in supportive housing, no staff is supposed to leave. And only if they go on for five or ten minutes. Five or ten minutes, that is allowed. But if you go, you're not supposed to even be gone for four or five hours. Ten minutes, cool. Um, And I'm supposed to be interviewing this girl who is not going to get All right. I got to do this video quick. But she's not going to get hired. But the point of the conversation is, why am I interviewing this person? What, for for, for laughs and kikis? And, and let me tell you why, but if he come, because he's supposed to be stopping by, Hey, today, I'm going to tell Robert, no more women. No more women. I will not. Um, I got one woman staff working for me. Okay? One. And she's much older and she don't have time for the drama. And neither do I. We are on the same page. You get what I'm saying? Sweet. Nice. We're on the same page when it comes to that. Excuse me, y'all. We're on the same page. Excuse me, eating. I'm going to call you eating and chatting. But... I'm about to be nice because 
my man G, he's like, be nice and yada, yada, yada. I'm, I'm going to be real nice and I'm going to be real respectful. But the thing is, why am I interviewing and it and it's gonna get addressed when I see Robert. See Robert, he does things that don't make no sense to me, and I'm gonna ask cause 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 this is Robert's company, so I'm gonna ask him why do you out of like if say if I interview a staff right, they'll go behind and be like oh. They want you to no no no. There's no more of that. If I if if I interview and I'm gonna tell Robert this. If I interview someone and I don't mean it. If I interview someone and I say okay, I give the okay. You good? I'm not interviewing nobody else, and that's period. But y'all. Let me know what you guys think about this video, and I will talk to you guys in the next one, but it just, it rubs me the wrong way. No more women. Um, And before, and before, and before, I hear it in my comments. Um, you being sexist, no the fuck, I'm not. No the fuck, I'm um, no, the fuck I'm not, because I am a 24-year-old grown man, and I need certain things to be done, and I know for a fact, for a fact, that women cannot do it. No women, no women can, no and, and and you can and you can and you can and you can miss me with the you can miss me with the bullshit, miss me with the bullshit, because the only way a woman can do it is if they use the lifter. Now I do have a lifter before somebody go in my comments and say that, but it cannot fit up under my bed. So and that's like I said, and that's. I got some woman that's gonna be willing to lift my bed up and put the lift up under there and then put me. Ain't nobody about to go through all that. That's just the side note for the people that, um, that's gonna say, oh, she can do it. No, no woman can. And the women that can do it, they work here. The women that can do it, they work it. Because the other lady, she had to quit because she was always fucking complaining about something. So, I got a new staff coming in on Monday night. I'm going to be in your bed on Monday night. So, I uh, make sure I'm in bed, so I don't have to do nothing. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, me personally, this is just for me. Uh, this is just for me. I feel like a woman cannot do it unless she's willing. And that's just my personal opinion. Let me know your thoughts. But the but the whole thing about yeah no no don't even don't even don't don't and I'm not and I'm not on this on this subject, I'm not going to block you if you have a di uh, The thing is, I'm not blocking nobody if they have a difference of opinion. But be respectful with your opinion, please. Because if you get disrespectful in my comments, I'm just going to block you. Point blank. I'm letting you know straight up. 
don't be disrespectful. But you you are allowed to have your difference of opinion. All right. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.